If you're rebuilding your credit with Capital One, you need to watch this video. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike the Credit Guy, the biggest. If this is your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button. That way you find out every time we drop new content because we drop content all the time about everything credit and in the finance world, okay? So if you wanna see more videos like that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button while you're at it, okay? It's gonna help us get this algorithm going. I am the owner and founder of Limitless Culture. We created the most advanced DIY program in the industry for $55.99 a month. Our system will create custom Metro 2 attack letters to your specific issues, custom to every single situation, attacking negative items, your personal information, every single round for $55 a month. Our system will create your custom letters. They're emailed to you, you print them, you mail them, you send them out certified mail, and you're done. No more modules or reading courses or trying to become an expert. We cut all that nonsense out. Link is in the description if you want to get started on that, okay? Now, always know that we talk about everything credit on this channel. On today's episode, we're going to cover the Capital One Platinum Secured Credit Card. This is the credit card that everyone goes after when they're trying to rebuild their credit. And I'm going to tell you the do's and don'ts that nobody else talks about. Because there's a lot of things that everybody does wrong when they are rebuilding their credit with Capital One. Now... Understand, this is not a video trash talking Capital One. I'm a fan of Capital One because they, get, they really do open the door for a lot of people. But I want to cover the things that you need to learn while you're rebuilding with them. When you're rebuilding your credit, you want to get the five biggest lenders on your credit reports as fast as you possibly can. Okay, but it's not really possible sometimes when you got really horrible credit. So <laughs> link is in the description if you need help working on your credit. Okay, but we're going to cover the five biggest banks and what this all has to do with Capital One. Now, the five biggest banks being right here, the big blue bank, we can't say their name, okay? That's number one. Number two, Citibank, okay? That's right there, well, that's one of the biggest right there. Number three, Discover, everyone loves Discover, some of the best cashback credit cards, okay? And then Capital One, because that's what we got here, right? And then the next one, American Express. It gets the biggest one, because it's my favorite, okay? Uh, <laughs> no, no special favoritism shown here. Okay. But no, you want to get one of the biggest five lenders on your credit reports. That's the goal when you're rebuilding. Okay. So people always go for the capital one platinum card. Nothing wrong with that. You got to get it secured. You might not have to get it secured, but it's the platinum card nonetheless. Okay. Whether it be secured or unsecured, you still got the platinum card. Okay. So this is the problem right here. This card is what starts all the problems that people tend to make into a worse problem. All right, so there's nothing wrong, and I want to cover this, there's nothing wrong with rebuilding with Capital One. I'm a fan, okay? But Capital One, there is a maximum cap of four credit cards that you can have with Capital One, okay? And you cannot have a recent Capital One in the most recent six months. So if you get a Capital One and then you decide, yo, I'm gonna go get another Capital One, it ain't gonna work, you'll get declined, okay? So wait your time and let it age out, okay? We have seen data points where sometimes Capital One will not let you get another Capital One card for two years, especially if you're in that not so great area, okay, that you're with the Platinum card. You might have to wait a full two years. We have seen that data point, not everybody, but it has happened, okay? Now, why is this specific card a problem? Now, one, because it's secured. If you have the secured version, because they do have the unsecured, remember that. If you have the secured, some people have not been able to unsecure it, and it stays secured for the rest of your life. They never give you your money back. They never try to unsecure it. Now, there are people that say it. they do unsecure it, and there's people that uh, there's way more people that have said that they will not unsecure the credit card, <laughs> no matter what they do. Understand that Capital One is one of the largest subprime lenders in the United States, and this is why people call them stingy. They don't understand that they're dealing with one of the largest subprime lenders in the United States. They're used to dealing with people with bad credit. They don't want to give you more money. If you especially don't give them a reason, they're definitely not going to give you more money. If you're consistently carrying balances and you're not paying off your balance in full, why would they give you more money? 
Let, let it sink in there, people, okay? Now, if you're not using your credit card properly, what do I mean by that? You're only using $30 or $50 of your $300 limit or your $500 limit, and you are paying it off in full every month, but you're not using enough of your available credit. Capital One doesn't wanna to have to give you more money unless they see that you're using the money. Use your credit card responsibly for your cell phone, your car insurance, gas for your car, your um, internet for your house. If you have the money in the bank, put it on your credit card, pay it off immediately. Never carry a balance with Capital One while you're rebuilding a relationship with them. Okay, this is really important for you to understand. If you use all the way up to your 300, you know, in one month or you use 300 twice in one month and you pay it off in full, pay it off in full by the statement closing date. Don't use it for seven days so it reports a zero balance. Do this consistently with Capital One and they will raise the credit limit and they will try to graduate you to another card. But, here's the big but, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, that way you find out every time I go live or I drop new content, you're gonna hear about it first. I need you to hit that like button also. Hit that like button so more people hear about this and they see this, okay? And if you haven't, you need to hit that bell notification. That way I go live, you're gonna hear about it first. Anytime I drop new content, you're gonna hear about it first. That way you always in the know of what's going on on our channel. And anytime I drop new content, you're gonna hear about it first, okay? Now, if you want me to talk about any specific Capital One credit cards or any specific credit cards that you want me to talk about, drop it in the comments section. If you have data points that can help other people about Capital One credit cards, don't be afraid to drop that information in the comments section either. If you're trying to work on your credit, we are a full service credit management company. We did create the first and most advanced DIY program in the industry that creates custom Metro 2 attack letters per your situation. For $55.99 a month, our system will create your custom Metro 2 attack letters, email them to your email, you print them, you mail them out, certified mail, and you're done. It's just that simple. We cut all the nonsense out. No courses, no modules you have to learn. You don't have to learn how to be an expert. You don't have to take somebody's master course, okay? I'll cut all that nonsense out, all right? I got some extra goodies that I threw in there for all the people that sign up for it also. You get exclusive access into my new app as a DIY client that has a library of all our more popular videos, and we're gonna be adding all kinds of cool stuff to it. Yeah, we have an app. Isn't that pretty crazy, okay? Link is always going to be in the description. If you need full service credit management, you can find us also we, with the link in our description right there, Limitless Culture. We have a full service Metro 2 attack program, a full service pre-litigation, and an identity theft program for people that have real identity theft issues. Links are always gonna be descriptions or ask me in the comments. We'll drop our safe links. It'll say Mike's safe links, okay? And it'll say Mike the credit guy highlighted. Don't listen to those scammers in the comments, okay? We try to block them and stop them, but it's really difficult, okay? But we're gonna do whatever we can. Now, link is always in the description and always remember, What's the most important thing? Last part's the most important. So usually about six to eight months after you've had this card and you've used it responsibly and you have not been carrying a balance or maybe a full year, they might make you wait. Depends on how bad your credit score is and how are you using the credit card. But usually after about six to eight months or a year, they're going to either tell you that they're going to graduate the credit card. Congratulations, we're gonna give you your deposit back. They're gonna send you an email. And then they're gonna offer you either one of these two next credit cards, the Quicksilver One card, okay? Or it's Big Brother, the Quicksilver card, okay? So here's the big but. You do not want to accept either one of these cards. If they're, if they're gonna give you your money back and they're going to graduate the card, which means you're going, they're going to take back the Quicksilver, sorry, the Capital One Platinum card, they're gonna take it back and they're gonna give you another card and they're gonna give your deposit back, then you want to accept it. But if they are offering you another credit card, the Quicksilver One or the Quicksilver, do not take the offer, okay? This is the biggest mistake that everyone makes is they take the offer and now you've opened a second credit card with Capital One. That's where you made the mistake. But what do we do, Mike? <laughs> That's probably your, what you're asking me right now. What you do is you pick up the phone. The moment you get that offer 
and they're telling you they want to offer you another credit card, you're going to pick up the phone and you're going to call Capital One and say, hey, Capital One, listen, it's been an amazing year with you. I absolutely love my credit card. I love the relationship. You got to butter them up on the phone, okay? And you're going to say, listen, I got an offer um, for another credit card. So um, uh, I wanted to talk to you about that. Is it possible we could talk about that? And they say, yeah, of course. And like, oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we see that we offered you the, the Quicksilver One card. Okay? And you're going to say, yeah, I'm so excited about it. And they're like, so would you like to take the offer today? Well, what I'd like to see is can you take my current Platinum card? Can you upgrade it for me? Okay? I'd like to keep the same account and not open a new account because... You know, I'm rebuilding my credit, and I don't want to ruin my new age of credit. If I open up a new line of credit, I'm going to reduce my new age of credit. So can we upgrade my platinum, keep the same account number, and get the new the new Quicksilver One card that you're offering me? Because I'm so excited about it. Either the representative is going to say yes, or they're going to say no, or they're going to say they're going to have to get back to you on their decision. Now, there will be a hard inquiry when they try to do this. Understand this, okay? Um, we've heard data points where there's not. Some people didn't. They just upgraded the card, okay? Um, but there is a link in my, in my description, okay? It says the upgrade link. So if you need to upgrade any of your existing Capital One credit cards, you can use that link to see if you qualify. But when you're in this process, you want to do this over the phone, and see if they'll do it over the phone. Do not take the offer. Sit tight and wait because you don't want to get stuck with this low limit card because this card is going to cap out at either 500, 1000 or 2500. The highest I've ever seen it go is 3000, okay? That's the highest I've ever seen it on a credit report. So, some people don't even get that high, okay? That's someone that's had it open for an eternity. So, understand you don't want to make that huge mistake and go after the offer that they send you an email. Now, if you're one of those people that is stuck with the Capital One Platinum card, rest assured, I got your back. Drop it in the comment section. Hey, Mike, drop your upgrade link. I'm gonna drop my stand link in the comments for anybody that asks for it, and then you'll go through the links and you're gonna find it. It's gonna say Capital One Upgrade Link. It's gonna make you log in, and then you're gonna log in and see if you qualify for the upgrade. And before you use that upgrade link, make sure that you understand you should not be trying to upgrade your credit card if you're carrying a balance, okay? That's a general rule. Don't try to upgrade it while you're carrying a balance. Wait at least one billing cycle, billing cycle to clear out that balance, and then now you're in the clear, and now you can try to see if you can upgrade. Now, the upgrade link will work for any Capital One credit card. So whether it be the Capital One Platinum card, or the Capital One Quicksilver One card, and you're trying to get to the regular Quicksilver, okay? You can use that link for any of those cards to see if you qualify for an upgrade with Capital One directly. If you if you ask for the comment in the comments, I'm gonna drop it in the comments for you, okay? Now, thank you for watching the video. We got some other Capital One videos that you can watch. And as always, subscribe to increase your credit score.